Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, we're gonna be looking at this, which is the ML Plexi, which is a Plexi style amp sim from ML Sound Lab. I'm a massive fan of Plexi style amplifiers. So let's get to it. The first thing I should say about this plugin, even before I get into any of the sounds of it, it's got an incredibly annoying copy protection where what happens is it cuts out after about 30 seconds. So when you are demoing this product, it literally just comes up with this, with this screen, buy a license. It tells you to do this all the time. Now for me, if you're gonna be downloading and demoing something, they should let you at least have a couple of days to just demo where you're not gonna be bothered by this because I mean, this is just a little bit ridiculous the way it just cuts out every sort of 30 seconds or so. But anyway, let's try and ignore that and let's get on with how this thing sounds. So we've got the amp. And if I click here, we've got our cab. Now this is really good actually, because we've got the choice of two different microphones. We can change the speakers here and we can even load our own IRs. Some of the things I really like about this is this little mix control here. So we can mix between the microphone on the left and the microphone on the right and blend in between the two. And here we go again. So this has popped up again and it's cutting out. One of the other features that I really like is with this ribbon one, two, one. If we scroll our mouse wheel, we can actually tip the mic and I think that's a really nice feature and you can get some really nice different sort of sounds out of it. Next we get the pedal board, click on that. So all of these effects are static, we can't move the delay before the amp. The delay and the reverb it sounds to me are after the amp. The noise gate is great if you're using more higher gain sort of sounds. For me I find that it just cuts the note off just a little bit too quick and it takes some of the feel away. Let's go back to the amp. So this is quite nice, I like this down here where you've got the choice, you can actually turn the pedal board off. <laughs> or you can bring in the pedal board by clicking down here and it actually brings in the effects. Okay, let's turn the delay and reverb off just for the moment. So I've turned off all the effects, so it sounds like this. It is doing a good job of modeling a Plexi. So with a Plexi, as it's been jumpered, we can use volume one and volume two as almost like a bit of an EQ. So volume one is your bright channel and volume two is your bassy sort of woolly channel. So what I like to do when I'm using a Plexi is to get the tone dialed in using volume one and then also bring in volume two just to add the bottom end. So let's do that. So there's the amount of gain that I'd like. And now let's bring in volume two to add the bottom end. So now if I crank up volume two, you'll hear there's the bottom end. So let's just bring it back. So I'm pretty happy with that sound. Now, I always like to use a compressor. So let's bring the compressor in. And that actually does quite a nice job. Let's just turn it up a little bit. And what I'd like to do is to drive the front of the amp. So let's bring the drive. And that actually sounds really good. Let's turn the drive off. Let's bring the chorus in. So it sounds to me like the chorus is before the amp. Now the delay and the reverb are after the amp. So let's bring in the delay and listen to that. To me, I think they could have improved on this by putting a stereo delay there, or at least having the choice of a stereo delay. And also being able to move the delay before the amplifier if you want that sort of delay going into the amplifier sort of sound. But as the delay goes, it sounds great. Now let's bring the reverb in. Right, as you can see here, the mix is dialed so far back and we're getting loads of reverb. I think for me, that would have been so much nicer just to control this mix, because if I turn the mix up to even 50%, it's unusable, so what's the point of that? The mix should be far more controllable than that. But again, as reverbs go, it sounds great. Bring the tone up a little bit as well. Let's bring the feedback 
back a little bit. So we're not getting so many repeats on the delay. And there you go, and it cuts out again. Just incredibly annoying. I think they could have sorted this out so it's much better. I mean, come on, guys, you can give like two days without any of this sort of cutting out. It's just, it's unbearable. Uh, let's bring the drive back in. If I click down here, we've got the cab and let's go through some of the different sounds here. So if I click on 57, let's bring it a little bit closer to the dust cap. So as I said earlier, we've got this mix control so I can bring the 57 more in. If I bring that in the middle of the cap, you'll see how bright that is. Now we do get the glitching with that, but when the mic's static, it isn't really a problem and you don't hear any of that sort of glitching. And if you think about it, the amount of information and the, the amount of processing that the computer is doing by, you know, even just moving or emulating, moving that microphone, it's still quite impressive. And let's pan it completely over to the one, two, one. <laughs> And then we can blend between the two. I'm going to put this all in perspective now. This amp sim costs 30 euros, which is a steal. And I'm sorry to have a moan about the copy protection, but let me just explain what I mean by what I'm saying. If you've got a company that's clever enough to produce an amp sim that sounds as good as this, I think they could spend a little bit more time working on the copy protection system. So you get a fully featured plugin for a trial period, two days a week, 14 days would be fantastic. Now, if that was sorted, I think this amp will be fantastic. I'd highly recommend you guys download the demo and try it out, even though it is a pain with it cutting out and that feature, the, you know, please buy this plugin window that keeps popping up. But I do highly recommend downloading the demo, even if it's just to try it out. And again, as I said, for 30 euros, it's an absolute bargain. Anyway, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. The usual stuff, click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.